Welcome to the evidence-based healthcare searching class. In this class, I will teach you a little bit about the definition of evidence-based healthcare, as well as talk further about finding evidence-based information. Evidence-based practice is combining clinical expertise, patient values, and the best research evidence together to develop the best healthcare possible. This class will mostly focus on the left circle in this diagram, which is the best research evidence. It's important to consult the literature whenever you're developing a practice plan because things change very quickly in the healthcare field. A good way to start looking for the best evidence-based information is to use a little formula called PICO. PICO is P for patient, I for intervention, C for comparison, if any, sometimes you're comparing to placebo or sometimes there is no comparison, and outcome. It's very useful to look at PICO whenever you have a clinical query so that you can construct a searchable question from it. For instance, in this clinical situation, a 45-year-old woman comes to your office. She is suffering from clinical depression but is strongly opposed to taking prescription medications. She wants to know if St. John's wort is as effective as traditional antidepressants for treating her symptoms. We want to use PICO to pull out the main points of this question so that we can construct a search to use in one of our databases. Let's start with P. We know that our patient is 45 years old, a woman, and is suffering from depression. For I, we know that the intervention she would like to try is St. John's wort. C, or our comparison, will be traditional antidepressants. And O, or the outcome that we're hoping for, is a decrease in symptoms of depression. Now that we've constructed our searchable question, the next step would be to pick a suitable database to search in. On the Lapis Library Electronic Resources page, you will see a drop-down box where you can select evidence-based practice. All of the databases listed there are appropriate resources to use when trying to find evidence-based information. Is all information created equally? Unfortunately not. As you can see from this chart, there are several different types of studies that are considered to be evidence-based. As you move up the pyramid, the level of evidence increases, but also the amount of articles using that type of study decreases. So there are fewer meta-analyses than there are articles about animal research or laboratory studies. This concludes the introduction for evidence-based searching. If you would like to see an example of a search looking for evidence-based information, please look at the next video on the evidence-based searching class page.